You could probably look up the definition of fuckboy and see Tristan's face right there. You feel me? So, what up, it's your girl, Nick? We just embraced the only life we know. If it was me, I'd tell you, nigga, lay your life and grow. i tell you, finish where we started, reach the heights, you know? I mean, what is really going on? I'm trying to find out what Jordan Woods is talking about. I have not seen the Red Table Talk, but I'm gonna react to it because y'all requested me to react to it. I'm sorry if y'all see me smashing this cough drop right now. My allergies are tripping and I ain't trying to have an episode here on camera. Let me find this Red Table Talk so we can talk about this shit. Before we get into this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you can get notified when I upload on my channel. Shout out to Naughty Gang, man. Y'all are out there showing so much love. We're almost at 5K subscribers here on my channel, man. That's so so lit i can't wait till we get to 10k we are well on the way guys make sure you're sharing the videos on twitter instagram wherever you can make sure you spread the word the nas nick mafia out there you feel me let me see if i can find it it's on facebook right i can't believe jordan first off why are you going to to the smith family to be talking about this i get it i guess they're close friends of the family but uh you couldn't go direct to chloe that's my main question Oh Lord, it's 29 minutes long. It's gonna be a long session, guys. Hope y'all up for it. All right, y'all, let's get to this video. Let's see what the hell going on on Red Table Talk with Jada and Jordan Woods. Let's see. I've been asked several times, like, what's what's been the hardest Red Table that you've ever done? Hmm. And I haven't had one until today. Okay. This has been difficult for three families and Jada already, I mean, Jordan already crying? Girl, come on, get it together. You asked for this. I've known Jordan Woods her whole life. Many don't know this, but her father, John Woods, was a sound engineer on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air for hmm. his entire run, where he and Will became friends. Hmm. Their sons, Josh Woods and Trey, became very close. Damn. There were many play dates between them. Jaden and Jordan ended up becoming true day ones by forging a close, lifelong bond since they were infants. Mm. These friendships made the Woods family an extension of ours. Damn. During middle school, Fun they fact for you. a bridge of friendship between Jordan and Kylie Jenner, and the two became inseparable. The friendships between Jaden, Jordan, and Kylie brought three families together where many bonds were made. In February, guests at a house party reported that Jordan and NBA star Tristan Thompson, the father of Khloe Kardashian's boy, but I'm not surprised because Tristan's such a fuck boy. Like, why is Khloe still trying to make babies with this fool? Or why did she try to make a baby with this fool? Khloe, you can have about anybody, any black man out there. I'm telling you, Tristan is not the the move. We're making out, and that Jordan spent the night with him. The immediate online and media backlash that follow has forced three families, the Woods. Kardashian and Jenner's and the Smiths into a painful and very public incident. Mm. So when Jordan reached out to me and asked me if I would help her story to be heard, I invited her to the red table to figure out how to deal, heal. Oh, snap. Hand in hand. This is real grown woman stuff, right? Yeah. Because we've all been here in some form. As women, we've all let our little girl behavior get us into some grown woman mess okay this is grown woman mess on another level yeah mm -hmm. oh, hey, baby. Hey. <sighs> well i didn't think i'd be coming to the table like this but it's the best place to be hey listen that table has mythological mm. cleansing and healing power <laughs> i, I hope so <laughs> i would have loved to be there there's a lot of things about our relationship to our family. Jordy's father worked on Fresh Prince before she was born. But I know how hard it was for you and your family when he passed. And I was watching you grow and become a woman. And I had a deep sense that we would be here one day. And what I want to say to you is that the world attacks it just happened. Absolutely. Don't ever get around the world attacking. Yep. But I want you to know that you are supported and I got you and we got you. Yeah. And that means the world to me. Yeah. You know me 
Man, imagine that's some that's some hard stuff, but we won't know really a hundred percent of everything that went down till Tristan talks, right? Cause when he coming to the red table. Myself. Yeah. yeah. Babe, do you have any fatherly advice? I would say take your medicine and tell your truth. This is a mm -hmm. part of And it what better be true. Is. This is a part of what learning is yeah. a part it's of a what huge is. Yeah. It's like this world is not going to break you. We won't allow it. Yeah. Oh, well, I love you. Thank you. Love you, baby. Right. Let's see. Let's get to the table. That's real talk. Well, then let's go do it. Let's go to the table. All right, give me a hug. You heard what Will said. We got you. Okay. Let's see. This is this is major. If uh, Jada and Will backing her, you feel me? A lot of people look up to them as a couple. Let me mute this uh, ad right quick. But a lot of people look up to them as a couple. So, I mean, Jordan Woods has major backing behind her. Coming to the table today needs to understand that, A, we're dealing with a really sensitive subject. We need to deal with it with compassion. And anybody who <laughs> wants to come to the table and act like they haven't done something in their life that they wish they could have done different, if you feel as though you don't have any skeletons in your closet, if you feel holier than thou, this might not be the place for you, and that's okay. But I've been here several times, and the best way to deal with this kind of stuff is just to come clean. That's the best way, is to tell the truth. So you better tell the truth. There's a family that feels betrayed by you. Yep. And you're clear about that, right? For real. What really sucks is when you let someone in and they do something like that. You know what I'm saying? And of course, everybody's going to give Jordan the backlash, even though Tristan's a fuckboy. Like, it's Chloe's baby daddy. He ain't going nowhere. Even if he does fuck up, he's going to be around. Jordan better be telling the damn truth, I swear. I'm going to be so, pissed. Let's start with what happened. Sunday night, I went to dinner with some friends. And I went to this bar after there was a party going on. I was minding my business, dancing, drinking. Tristan was there. He was doing his own thing. That was it. After the club normal LA culture when you're young go to the bar go to the club it ends early we all go to a house after right we're not thinking about whose house or where it's at we're just you know we're all having fun we're in the moment the group of girls that I'm with are like you know we're gonna go to a house on the way out they're saying it's Tristan's house I'm like cool that's okay feels like a safe environment I'd rather it be his house. Here she My go, using them there. victim words. It's he safe. didn't even personally invite me there. It wasn't like, come see me. It was like, oh, I'm hopping in the car. I'm coming with y'all. Y'all are going here. Cool. I know him even better. Right. We pull up. We walk in. Not once was I aware of anyone's phone or told them to take away a phone. I was not paying. I don't care. I don't have anything to hide. Right. So when it comes to the phones being taken away, I have no clue who told them to take away the phone anything right. all i know is i had my own right and you know we're all dancing and we're all drinking and we're all enjoying this time and i'm not thinking i shouldn't be here right and that's my first step where i went wrong and how i would feel mm -hmm. if someone well where is chloe that's my thing. And Tristan throwing a whole party with these girls. 
Where's Chloe? I will be thinking uh, this is my best friend's sister's baby daddy. I probably shouldn't be here. What you mean? I probably shouldn't be here because he's acting up or he got all these girls here. But is with Chloe. So that's the only thing that would be like, mm, just letting you know. I would probably tell my best friend like, girl, I'm here at a party. Tristan here, all these girls here, and I'm here too, just in case, you know? Listen to me. Is, is hanging at my ex's house or yes, the father of my child? I wouldn't, I didn't think about that. That's the first part of the problem. So you're saying, now so, you're saying I shouldn't have been there in the first place. Yeah, that's the, the first step is I should have gone home after the party. I shouldn't even have been there. Right. But you know the nights the nights going on and never once was like giving him a lap dance making out with him sitting all over him it's just we're all together we're in a group never once did we leave the public area go to a bedroom go to a bathroom we're all in plain sight and you have other girls with you yes okay why do you think no one else has stepped up to defend i want things. people to stand up and be accountable but i don't want anyone to feel what i'm feeling yeah i get it because let me tell you i've been here yeah i get it and it's hard for people it is and it's no right or wrong to it it's just hard because it's heat and why do they owe me right. that much right facts what from the night was suggested there was a lap dance of some kind no this seems completely crazy to me that anybody says there was a lap dance involved because there was no lap dance involved but what i can think as to why someone would say that there was a chair here a couch and another chair got it it's all filled got it so he's sitting in this chair and there's an arm of the chair that goes up about here okay and i'm sitting on the arm of the chair so you come into the party and you look and you see me sitting on the chair in my head this is innocent, you know, like we're all drinking, we're all chilling. There's no way it would look like a lap dance, but I could see why people would say, oh, they're getting cozy. Mm -hmm. Did you have your arm hmm. around them? No. Okay. But my legs were, were laying right over his. Got it. My <laughs> leg was never. Jada hit him with the, got it. Okay, now it's making sense. Because uh, why are your legs hanging over your best friend's sister's baby daddy's legs? I'm just wondering. I probably wouldn't even be that close. I'm just saying, out of respect, probably. Sitting on him, but your legs were so he. But my legs were dangling down, so I picked them up and I put them over to 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 onto his legs, onto the bottom of his legs. Yes, onto the bottom of his legs. Not There's not his legs there. completely. The bottom of them. The bottom of the legs. She was sitting on his lap. She was dangling in his his crotch area. She, that is not the truth. But if you're looking for a story, I can understand why that would be the story. So there wasn't any like intimate little chuckle chuckle, giggle giggle, you in his ear, him in your ear. I mean, as we all were just dancing and having fun everyone at the party so we're in this person it was really a yes or no never question anything intimate never anything like and he didn't make any moves when you see what the night no okay. he didn't try to take me to a room he didn't try to we were all it was just an innocent time where you could see how that could seem and that's where i will take responsibility to where i can't be doing that right right especially I can, with the partner of a woman who considers you a sister and they already exactly. have because there's so much history involved yeah i wasn't thinking right yeah that's i take full responsibility for that yeah because the other difficult part was like okay jordan left at 7 a.m and you know it's hard for people to believe that mm -hmm. nothing happened i and i understand why why but in my life, in my world, 
It makes sense. The two nights before, I had been on kind of a partying binge where th that wasn't the first place I stayed till six in the morning. Right. There was always somebody there while I was there. Even so, up until the moment that you left. Even up until the moment that I left, there were people there. Then why ain't nobody I saying that? I look outside and I'm like, look, the sun's coming up. I need to take myself home. Right. And, you know, I tell everyone I'm leaving. I tell Tristan I'm leaving. And he's like, are you sure? You know, it's fine. You can you can be safe here. And I'm like, you know what? I need to go. My car's outside. I had to drive outside. It's been waiting. Um, so this is where the story gets tricky. Because... Where it gets tricky. I feel like I can't point fingers. Yep. Don't do it. And I can't say this, you did this, or you did, because I allowed myself to be in that position. That part right there. Mm -hmm. I allowed myself to be there. And I never was belligerently drunk to where I can't remember what happened. So you never had a blackout moment? No, I was never blacked out. But there was alcohol involved? There was alcohol involved. So how drunk were you? I was drunk. Okay. But you remembered. See, I was drunk. But I was not beyond the point of recollection. I know where I was. So you know what you did. On the way out, he did kiss me. No. And what do you mean by kiss? It's just no passion, no nothing on the way out. He just kissed me and and like a tongue kiss, like a peck on the lips, peck on the like a No, it, it was like a kiss on the lips. But no tongue kiss, no making out. Got it. Nothing. And I don't Why are we kissing baby daddies? Either because I allowed myself to be in that position. And when alcohol is involved, people make, you know, dumb moves or people get caught up in the moment or who knows. But you weren't blacked out. I didn't know how to feel. I was like, that didn't just happen. Because, you know, I was leaving already, so I walked out immediately after. Okay, that's when you hit him with a, don't kiss me. You are my best friend, sister's baby daddy. What the hell? Oh, man, Jordan. Come on, man. Come on. And I got in the car, and I was like, I'm going no, that didn't happen. And so you left immediately. Mm -hmm. Did you say it? Did you say anything to him like I was just like, I need to go. I was in shock. I was more so like, oh my God. did this really, you know, I don't, I was like, hmm, let me just pretend like that didn't happen. Right. Why? Did why not say something? Understanding possibly of why he would do that or. I'm there until the sun's coming up. <laughs> right. <laughs> so he's like, he's like, right. you know, maybe let me just. Let me just shoot my shot. So, you went home, and what happened next? I went home. I had talked to Kylie and, and Chloe in the morning, and I told them I was there. And I had talked to Chloe, and she, you know, asked me what was going on. Is everything fine? And in my head of trying to forget that part of the story, I was just like, you know, no, he was he was chilling. Everything was okay. Like, there were girls there, but he was Okay, so, that's where you fucked up. You gotta be honest, you feel me? Honesty is the best policy. And I think that, you know, Chloe might have just been like, ah, oh, he's a fuckboy, of course he tried to kiss you. You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of just letting it go out, because you don't know what could have happened. You might say it's a kiss, but other things could have went down and nobody's saying nothing, you know? You at his house. He pretty much has control over what's coming in and out. Who's saying what? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you really fucked up by being dishonest. So, that's your fault now. Not, not that's your fault. You know, all over the girls. What exactly were you not honest about? I was honest about being there, but I wasn't honest about the actions that had taken place. The kiss. Did you think you were trying to protect their relationship at that time? I just knew how much turmoil was going on that I was like, let me not just throw more fuel on the fire. I know I was trying to protect 
Chloe's heart. She doesn't deserve this either. Right. You know, people have even dehumanized her in this situation to where they don't, they can't feel for her. Right. And it's not fair right. that she has to deal with this either. That's when you tell your friend because you care about them. Was be that person. I'm no home wrecker. Right. I would never try to hurt someone's home, right. especially someone that I love. And someone who I've seen has a beautiful daughter. I never was trying to steal someone's man. I don't need your situation. I really just hurt so many more people by not telling the truth. Okay. Do you feel as though... Hopefully this is a lesson learned for a lot of cheaters out there. I know I'm not the reason that Tristan and Chloe are not together. Now, this situation may have made it harder for her to want to be with him. And I understand that. But I know I'm not the reason. I'm just going to ask you straight up. Okay. Did you sleep with Tristan? Never. God. Never a thought. Okay. Never a consideration. Never happened. And never will I. And that's why I'm willing to, to be put up to the test. Attach me to a lie detector, whatever it is. I need people to know the truth. And more importantly, I need the people involved to know the truth. We gon' we we need a lie detector test. Let's get through these little ads. Alright. There has been no communication with Tristan. No relationship over time. You guys didn't have a relationship for a month. There's been no relationship. No communication, no plans on meeting up, no conversation, nothing. Okay. Do I've been around them for almost a decade. I'm here to protect. I'm never here to hurt anyone. And I think if that was the case, I, I wouldn't have been friends with these. What would y'all do if y'all knew y'all's homegirl for over 10 years, built that rapport with her. You already know what she's about, who she is, is she trustworthy, she's proven to it. And then you got a fuck boy who's been cheating on Chloe since the get go, lying, this, that, and the third, becomes baby daddy. Okay, who would y'all really trust? I think personally, I probably trust Jordan only because of the rapport, the history. You know what I'm saying? It just really depends on, you know, that rapport being built. Did y'all not trust her in the first place? Um, Tristan is just, you know, he's not to be trusted, okay? Tristan, don't trust him, Thompson. Well, for so long. Now, you know, I have to deal with my family and all the people I hurt. That family also has to deal with the hurt. This story that didn't have to be what it was turned into the biggest scandal or betrayal of the year. <laughs> because I've seen what has been done to my life in only a week based on how the media circulates. Right. They don't put their focus on the real world problems. They're putting their focus on a young black woman who made a mistake and not a mistake that's worth public crucifixion. It's a mistake True. that should have been dealt with internally. Well, you know what they say. Black women can be the most disregarded and disrespected creatures on the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, being a black woman in the game for so long as I've been, just seeing that without people even having heard your side and just not giving the benefit of the doubt, mm -hmm. it just always seems like it's so easy to just target black women, put everything on us, even if there's other people involved. So. And it took me <laughs> to be here, yeah. getting here, to, to, to realize to it, because yeah. I saw it, <laughs> but yeah. I never felt it. Right. I think that's one of the reasons why Uncle Will felt like it was important for him to hold you through this, because we all make mistakes, and that's not to justify anything. That Absolutely. You know. But it is to say that I really felt like you needed an opportunity to tell your story at least 
and then people can decide whatever you what know they want to believe. whatever they but want to believe the given the chance, chance. Right. Mm -hmm. and this is what the world does and this is when you just Get those arms around this is sticky, 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 sticky situation. The that I thought would be around me are nowhere to be found. Right. The first few days of this were definitely the hardest. I couldn't eat. I didn't eat for days. I couldn't look at my phone even. I would just try to sleep and, and hope that I would wake up and this wouldn't be true. Right. And every day it was a new headline. Every time you refresh the page, it's another person bullying me or wishing death upon me or telling me something like, your father deserved to die. Whoa. I may have done something. Yeah, people be pushing it to the limit, y'all. Y'all, a lot of people act like they ain't never made a mistake like that. Like, a kiss, okay, I've had a kiss ruin one of my relationships before. And I feel like my ex did the right thing by leaving me. You know, I ended up kissing someone. I, I know y'all seen the video where I cheated by kissing this girl. And it ruined one of my relationships with the first person that I've ever fallen in love with. And she had a boundary and she left me right then and there. So this is just one of those things where I think Chloe should have a boundary with Tristan and be like, look. You, you're done for, dude. Like, you made me look bad. You got this going on. This, that, and the third. You're turning up with women. Like, it's just deuces for him, you know? Of course, he's going to be in, in baby's life, but Chloe got to stop giving this man the upper hand. You know what I'm saying? That's what's making Chloe look bad. And Jordan, it seemed like she made a mistake, a horrible one. And I think it'll blow over for Jordan. Thing wrong? But whatever I did, I don't think I deserve this. It's just, it's not fair. If I was a weak person, I would have hurt myself. It's even hard for me to say this because it's like, you know, everyone's safety is, is now, we can't leave the house. My brother can't go to work. Like, my sister can't go to school. She's 12 years old. My mom can't even go to the grocery store. I'm not here to play the victim. Right. I'm here to take responsibility. And when I was asked about what happened that night, I didn't tell the truth to the people that I loved. Not because of malicious intent, but because I was just scared. Each step, what would you have done differently? I would not have gone with those girls to an after party. And just not allow Christian's to after party. I also allow things to happen. And if I would have told the truth from the beginning, you know what? I was there. We were drunk. This happened. Yeah. Yeah, say it to Chloe's face. I got caught up in the lifestyle right. of who I thought I wanted to be right. or just going with the flow of where life was taking me. Having to deal with losing my dad in such a crucial age in my life, such a young age to where I think I know what I'm doing, but I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. You know, I've had to learn a lot about the power of telling the truth. Mm -hmm even in this stage of my life, mm -hmm. you know, because truths get deeper and deeper, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> you learn that as you go. Uh, it's yeah. better off telling the truth any freaking day. I'm telling y'all, like, lies get stretched too far to where it's like, it's too much to keep up with. You're better off telling the truth and cutting ties with whatever if you make a mistake, because we're human beings, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna fuck up at some point. We're not gonna be perfect. We all learn lessons different. Some people have to learn lessons over and over and over again until they actually even get it. So, look, it's just about moving on and telling the truth at the end of the day. And when you tell the truth, you'll realize that sometimes the outcome is better, way better than when you, instead of lying, you know what I'm saying? Somebody finding out from a third party, like, I feel bad for it, but at the same time, it's a lesson learned. We that. have to think that we're also super honest and that it's easy mm -hmm. to tell the truth. 
but specifically when I was your age, I had no idea how to tell the truth mm -hmm. or to even understand the power of telling the truth. Mm -hmm. I had to tell many lies. It's the truth. And it's always better. Yeah, it's always better, but I had to tell many lies and get the consequence of telling it's lies. To, it's to learn. <laughs> you rather take the pain of telling the truth than having to take the pain of telling a lie and then take the pain of having to rehabilitate whatever that lie mm -hmm. is because the trust is already broken. The trust is broken. Have you talked to Kylie? I have. I told her I was coming to the table today. I think at this point it, it's gone too far and enough is enough and when the safety of the people I love is in jeopardy, I have to speak. Have you had an opportunity to talk to Chloe since then or have any kind of communication with her? I have spoken a little bit with her. I let her know that I'm willing to do whatever it takes for her peace of mind, not for my image, right. not for my career, because that's already something in something its own. Like, yeah. <laughs> this right. is now right. for your peace of mind. So you know that there was no malicious intent you do understand that from her point of view, mm -hmm. somebody who has embraced you like a sister, mm -hmm. that this could be a really, really tough one mm -hmm. to swallow, even in understanding. You might as well say goodbye to the Kardashians. Touch me to a lie detector. Whatever it is, I need the people involved to know the truth. I'm willing to take full responsibility. Okay. I'm not asking for people to like me. I'm not asking for you to forgive me overnight. I'm just asking for you to hear me and to feel me. I just think giving everybody that process. Mm -hmm. and that's what I've tried to do. It's a I've lot tried of love. To, you got I've to tried share. To. I know, and, and you, you'll have to continue to. Mm -hmm. Because it, it takes many attempts. Mm -hmm. And just allowing hurts to heal little by little in order for people to feel safe enough to open enough to invite a repair i've had to learn that with people that i've hurt and people who've hurt me sometimes it takes years sometimes it takes mm -hmm. weeks sometimes it takes days but for real okay let me give y'all update on my situation the girl that i cheated on and the girl that i kissed they're now like cordial they ain't friends actually i think they are friends like they be talking communicating but shit takes time you know what i'm saying they say time heals all. I don't think so. I don't think that's the truth. But I do think that people forgive over time and everybody handles it differently. So, yeah. There's a lot of love there. There's always a path and possibility. To right now, everything's too hot. To too hot right now. Chloe ain't trying to hear that. that mm -hmm. Can we have the fishbowl? Okay. <laughs> okay. Taylor from Brooklyn, New York. Is this a publicity stunt? A lot of people think this is all just for the new season of mm. Keeping Up. Unfortunately, Taylor, I wish I could say this was a publicity stunt, but it's my real life and real people are hurting. It's been real. Right. It's been real. real. Lauren from Texas, did you apologize to Chloe? I did. Yeah. I did. Hold on, I seen uh, I seen Chloe tweeting earlier. All right, it says four hours ago. Why are you lying, Jordan? And she at Jordan Woods. If you're going to try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first. At least be honest about your story. By the way, you are the reason my family broke up. So, y'all think there's a little bit more to the story that we don't know? And then, let's see. She said, Chloe said about Tristan. Tristan is equally to blame, but Tristan is the father of my child. Knew that was coming. Regardless of what he does to me, I won't do that to my daughter. He has been addressing this situation privately. If Tristan were to lie publicly about what conspired, then yes, I would address him publicly as well. And, you know, 
even though he's the father of your child, you can't allow someone to disrespect you like that. There needs to be boundaries. And uh, yeah, of course you want, the baby's always gonna have that attachment, but that don't mean you gotta do the same. You know what I'm saying? Yep, come get the baby when it's your turn, when it's your weekend, and that's about it, you know? I have someone arrange the transaction. You take the baby, it won't be me. You know what I'm saying? until I get the opportunity to talk face to face because she really feel you know what I'm saying but I, I reached out and the opportunities there I offered as much as I could a lie detector test anything whatever makes you feel better is what I want but at least they know it's there Absolutely. but in the process of her processing I can't see my family get hurt anymore so that's why I had to break my silence out of you know, I've been respectful through this whole thing. I haven't been commenting back. I've been, you know, constantly being ridiculed and bullied and I've still held my dignity. And I've been, even been bullied from people that, you know, just a week before were telling me, you know, how much they love me or this and the other. And I just, I'm, I'm more so the person where I get to see everyone's true colors now, as well as you have my phone number. Mm -hmm. You, you could have called you know, but, man. Or text me a mean text, but I guess if everything Man, if I was Chloe, I'd be like, meet up at my house, let's talk about it. I have to respect that too. But through that, I'm not going to be the person to clap back or to respond out of respect for the fact that this is a real situation. Right. This is real life. It's not a game. Yeah. This is not a drill. <laughs> this is not a drill. Okay. Right. Okay. And I can tell you one thing. 90% of these people were not my friends. 90%, not right. 20. Right. 90. But this has been deeper than just uh, coming here. It's because you're a family and it's someone that, even if this was the truth, there was no judgment. And you were willing to just, you know, talk to me. And that means the world to me. Hmm. So I'm yeah. happy. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> I, I'm happy because now... I feel like I'm free. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, that's what you think. And then Chloe over here talking on Twitter. I'm proud of you. Thank you. All will be well. Real talk. Real talk. You, you really this shit will pass over like though. Last two <laughs> It'll pass over and Jordan will be all right. Like yeah, I think we got the gist of it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. This shit is a little bit, I don't know. I don't know if... Jordan's telling the truth, you know, I don't know Jordan like that. It's hard for me to trust people, you know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of trust issues. But from what it looks like, it looks like Jordan is trying to be a little bit genuine. And I feel like I respect the Smith family so much. Like I do look up to Will Smith and Jada's relationship. And a lot of the things that Jada says, like I really, really take that into consideration. A lot of the things that Will says, I really take that into consideration. And I feel like the Smith family is a trustworthy family, you know, to have her back. So I'm like, I don't know, you know, it's hard to tell. As far as Jordan, man, at least she broke the silence and told somebody, uh, Tristan over there, just granddaddy fuck boy. You could probably look up the definition of fuck boy and see Tristan's face right there. You feel me? So... I don't know, I think they should talk it out, being that they've been friends for so long, the families have been tied like that. I don't see why they couldn't have took this off offline right quick and just handle it that way. Because they're such public figures, I mean, I think it would be a great idea to for Chloe and Jordan to come together and kind of settle their differences and talk about what really went down and how it went down. Of course, we really don't know the truth behind everything because Chloe is saying that she's lying and that Tristan may have told her something, you know what I'm saying? 
So, I don't know. This sounds like some Jerry Springer Mari type shit going on. I don't know. Y'all leave comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. I'll be responding to comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell right next to it so you can get notified when I upload on my channel. And let's get to these Twitter shout outs. My first shout out goes to Biz Nation, aka the Sway family. They always show me love on Twitter. Not only on Twitter, but here on my YouTube channel. I appreciate y'all so much. And my next shout out goes out to Tamika for nine two 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 nine six four thank you for subscribing to the channel and following me on twitter i appreciate the love man so much y'all show me every single day why i should keep doing this and i'm gonna keep doing it for y'all next video i drop is gonna be motivation monday so if y'all want me to talk about anything particular make sure you leave it in the comments down below send it to me on twitter ig if you got a question for me that you want me to answer specifically let me know and if you want to remain anonymous be sure to let me know that too because i ain't trying to put your business out there but yeah leave the comments down below let me know what y'all think about this jordan woods situation this a bad situation y'all we gonna see what it turns out to be and until next time peace